Capital Audio Fest. I'm Peter Berninger with AV Showrooms and I'm here in the Border Patrol room with Gary Dudes from Border Patrol. How are you, Gary? I'm good, thank you. What do you have at the Capital Audio Fest this year? Uh, this year we're showing our range of triode amplifiers. Uh, currently playing we have the SE300B EXD, which is a 8 watt single ended amplifier with an external power supply. Let's take a look at that. And what separates your amplifier from another 8 watt uh, SCT? Uh, the defining feature of all my amplifiers is the external power supply unit. Mm -hmm. Inside that power supply unit you will find three independent tube rectified choke input filter power supplies that feed different parts of the power amplifier. So you're completely tube rectified? Tube rectified, but the key point is the choke input filtering, which gives regulation and noise rejection that you don't find in the much more common capacitor input type power supply unit. Mm -hmm. So you're feeding a very pure signal that's uh, got some wide bandwidth to it. Very clean power yep. and very stiff power. That's the reason behind the power supply technology. Mm -hmm. uh, the circuit on the amplifier is, is that uh, some secret sauce in there, or is that uh, your design? Well, it is my design, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's exactly secret. Um, it uses an input triode, which is then coupled to the output 300B triodes by interstage transformers. Um, those are also items that you don't find on every amplifier. And let's get a shot of the power supplies. That's right underneath, correct? That's correct, yeah. Yeah, look at those. So we see one power supply, the one on the bottom is uh, feeding the power amplifier, the one here feeds the pre-amplifier and the one here feeds the digital to analog converter. So the digital analog converter is your design as well? That's correct. It also has a tube output stage and that's the reason why it has the external power supply unit. I understand. So that's again viewers that's over here powering this. Yep. Very stiff power supplies. We're putting DC voltage of uh, what into the uh, units? Oh, uh, in the DAC you've got a voltage of about 200. Mm -hmm. In the preamplifier you've got about 200. Mm -hmm. In the amplifier you've got one voltage of 400, one voltage of 250, and the bias voltage of minus 100. Mm -hmm. And viewers can get a good look behind it here. We've had a number of 300 Bs in our systems over the years. Uh, what's the current hot 300B tube that you like to use in your products? Uh, I think it would probably be this one, which is the Sophia Electric Royal Princess. Well, I wrote a piece for AB Guide on Sophia Electric in 2010, viewers. And about the speakers. The speakers are by Living Voice, which is a United Kingdom loudspeaker company. Mm -hmm. This is the top model of the Avatar range. Uh, it features an external crossover unit, which is the large box that you see behind the loudspeaker. Mm, let's take a look at our viewers. Uh, look at that. Mm -hmm. This That's is somewhat unusual. Um, Living Voice, when they were developing the loudspeaker, had the crossover mounted externally so that they could easily make changes to capacitors and inductors. Mm -hmm. And once they'd finalized their recipe and put the crossover inside the speaker, they found that the performance was worse. Hence the reason for the external crossover box. Uh, the sound is exquisite and very much room filling. Again folks, it's Border Patrol with Gary Dews. Thank you, Peter. Very good. You have great sound here at the Capital Audio Fest 2012. Thank you. Very good, thanks.